Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to first make a copy of the object. Make sure you always work with copies because you never know when something's going to go wrong and it's just going to get screwed up. So now what we got to do is we got to break off the outside of it or whatever face we're going to be texturing because when you use multiple faces for some reason 3D Max like overlays it and it gets screwed up when you bake it so you gotta select all the polygons you want and then use the detach function and detach it to a separate object it'll remain in the same place though so the baking won't get messed up then we, what you want to do is find unwrap UVW hit edit and make sure you have polygon selected or not polygon face and uh, this is you could follow all the other tutorials on how to un unwrap it's kinda complicated and depending on what you're working with it can get messed up really easy if you try and use certain techniques so for this since it's kinda flat we're just gonna use a planer and then flatten it out Alright, and for the rest of it, I'm just going to use an automatic map because I'm kind of lazy. Uh, most of the time I start with an automatic map because it'll get most things, but it won't like do it correctly. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to separate what I did before from what the automatic map did. and then I mean, automatic map is good if you're like... If you're just doing something really quick, but most of the time it it doesn't do that good of a job just move that out of the way and like as you can see it kind of smushed stuff and it didn't like put stuff in the right like in like a good position it's really like it works good for quick stuff but you really want to modify it or make your own mapping alright so once that's done look at it make sure you see these green lines those would be the seams gonna make sure those are correct I got this little face here that could have been part of another thing but I don't want to like fix it because I'll redo this later So once that's done, you want to apply a material to it. I'm just going to use a white material because I'm just going to like do an ambient occlusion map on this just so you can understand what's going on. Most times I start with an ambient occlusion and like build a texture on top of that. Can set up the lighting here. And wait for it to render the file. Alright, now what we have to do is we have to reattach it to the other, other part of the mesh when we upload it. So we'll just collapse the UV map so it saves it. Select the other part of the mesh, hit attach. Go to weld, or vertices, and then weld, just select them all and weld, because it'll weld whatever one's closest, and it should weld all the ones that were detached. So, now it's one object, export that to a DAE or whatever, 
I assume you're using this for Second Life. Yeah, turned edges. That's just an error with the exporter. Because I'm using polygons to add a mold mesh. And then you'll see the different colors because it applies the same colors that were on the texture or materials in Max. So then just upload your door texture. Apply it to your face to make sure it's correct. And there you go. Now you got to repeat for the rest of the faces. It's time consuming, but it's worth it.